Eric Mwad at Mwad.com. Let's take a look at why stocks and markets, let's say any trading instrument, does tend to find some type of support after a pullback. For example, if we take a look at the current Nifty chart, and this is the three-year monthly, we've seen a pullback over the last couple of weeks. And I'll show you that as of today, there seems to be a bounce. And I'll show you why I think the bounce is taking place. If you take a look at the weekly, we can see that we've come off the highs here over the last couple of weeks. We've been drifting lower. Now, we've turned around for the week and we are positive. But the key here for this video is I want to explain why, in my view, it is finding support. So after a pullback over the last couple of weeks, today we see a bounce. And I want to show you why the bounce makes sense. To understand this, we have to go back to our uniformity principle. And it's a simple line that is generated by this RSI movement here. Why the movement there? Because we can see from hindsight, this is where we made a low of late December 2016. Market's been higher since then. So we can use that information. In other words, we are using the chart itself to tell us how to respond to certain levels. So this level here was critical in bringing the stock off the lows. So we use that level, we draw a horizontal line, which is our uniformity support line. Should be links in the description of the video. Now, the theory is that, and this is my own personal concept that I've used for many years and is very reliable. Anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action, that tends to be good enough for a bounce. So we can test that. There was a bounce after that low there we come again and test the line with uniform action the uniform action is the key and it's the magic support here on the line gave us another low and that was good enough to move us back to new highs and now we can see this move today or overnight has happened because of uniform action on the same line and this might be a recovery so as long as this line is holding we can logically conclude here that as long as this line holds, that's the key, as long as we hold, then we can anticipate that the next major direction or swing trade is to the upside. Now, this is also consistent with what is happening on the weekly chart because if you now draw a line connecting RSI lows, you can see now that we've turned positive for the week, this is consistent with the RSI lows line. So again, if this line can continue holding here, that is suggesting that the next major direction is higher. And because the line is holding above the 50 level, we can also see that now, as long as this line is holding, that's the, that's the key here. As long as the line is holding, we might actually test the highs, if not break above the recent highs. At the same time, if we break below the line, that's going to be a major break, which might suggest to expect much, much lower prices. So we can use this simple line, one line, that gives us now the reason to be bullish. And we know that if the line breaks, then we can anticipate the risk of much, much lower prices. Now, let me add one more line, which is also, in my opinion, coming in play. And to understand this, you have to go to the prior break line. So there was a line here, which was a break. That break brought us lower. So we take that line and draw again another uniformity line. And this line should be here. Now I put that in red because that was the initial break. So we break here, move lower. But now notice what happens when we recapture back above the line here, which is this weekly move. We've been higher since. In other words, market's been higher since. Now again, we see that the market has come to test the same line and it held. What happened there is because the support was above the RSI 50 level. You see what happened is we tested the highs in fact, we broke above the highs. Now, if this can continue holding, if it continues holding, then we can see visually that the next major swing trade is either to test the highs 
or break above recent highs. And so the key here is either we find support here and move higher or we break below and we start a major drop. Now if we bring back the prior line which is the RSI support line we can see this is make or break right now. Either we are going to hold and move higher for a short term swing trade maybe even eventually break out to new highs or we break below these two lines and we have a major major pullback if not going into bear market territory. Those are the levels I would consider. Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.